Welcome back to my living. <laughs> Get it right. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining, for subscribing. I do appreciate it so much. I'm gonna tell you a little story. I just took a shower, so that's why I got this on my head. <laughs> on my way to work, I would usually go off one station before the actual station because I like to walk a bit, wake up in the morning, and also I love the scenery, I love nature in here in Bergen, and I'm definitely going to be sharing more with you. I was supposed to get my smartphone um, by now that I ordered, but some stuff happened. I'm going to keep it in another video because um, it has a lot to do with conscious consuming, it, consuming and stuff and voting with your money um, and how I almost didn't live up to my own um, like potential I guess you could say I don't know anyways <clears throat> I go off the station and when you walk from Merlin Pris which has so much history and I'm really excited to share what I've discovered with you guys um, it has to do its history all the way back to the 1600s and we all know what was going around in the 1600s and it's part of history that Norway has definitely not included in their um, education at least not the education I was experiencing here so I'm walking through the botanical garden which is from Merlin Place to downtown Centrum and there's these beautiful big trees and for me I connect very deeply with my passion for life and my appreciation for life through nature and I also experience myself as nature and in that way I'm just more conscious and more appreciative and more um, just embodied and so I'm looking at the trees and I'm appreciating how beautiful they are and I'm like smelling inhaling the air um, around there because when you're in the city you can get like not really nice scent but closer to the trees it smells nicer and they're so tall and i'm just like we we look at for those who do look at the trees and appreciate and admire how magnificent and tall they are but we rarely consider the roots and how the roots are what allow them to stand so tall and in society today is so much about going fast and going far and showing off and being proud and like say with your chest <laughs> and like just body that speaks for itself just like cut it and then cheekbones that speak for them and just a lot about sh i don't want to say shallow but a lot about physical appearance what can i see what can you prove i love this other quote that is seeing contrary to popular belief is not believing it's where belief ceases because it is no longer needed once you've seen something you don't need to believe in it anymore because you're seeing it so good i don't remember who got that quote i'll put a sh name here for those who are interested so i just really feel like from the venus retrograde period i've really been doing like internal work again i've said this before on my channel and i feel like internal and external work is equally as important um it's not as important for your image in the short term because you might look like you're not doing anything but in the long term when they see that the tree is standing tall gun some might know that there's a complex root system that is holding that tree up and some might just look at the tree and be like whoa i'm impressed and blah blah and the reason why i share that story is because after i was thinking about that and how that's what i'm doing within myself and almost like validation for myself that i'm on my right path and i'm in my truth and blah 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 i get this book this is marketing by seth Godin and I order my books from Book Depository. I do have an affiliate link, which I mean, I don't have that many subscribers, so it's cool that I get to have that. You know what I mean? Also, Book Depository has free online shipping, no, free worldwide shipping anywhere in the world, so I really love uh, using them, and all my books have been from there, so I do recommend them. Um, I don't I think I only profit if you choose to buy a book from the link. It's a beautiful way to support me and still 
get something that you really need is a win-win you know um but i'm reading like the first couple pages and it says how tall is your sunflower <laughs> that's what most people seem to care about how big a brand how much market share how many online followers too many marketeers spend most of their time running a hype show trying to get just a little bigger the thing is tall sunflowers have deep and complex root systems without them they'd never get very high this is a book about roots about anchoring your work deeply in the dreams desires and communities of those you seek to serve and when i read that for me it's so again confirmational and synchronistic with what i've been experiencing as my truth myself and where i feel like my season in life is um that grounding and anchoring and then he says that in the book and i'm just like oh sh- yes let's get it you know and my words or my mantra from the end of december from the end of 2018 and beginning of 2019 has been growth and let it grow and there's always room for growth and when i remind myself that there's always room for growth i let go of that desire to be perfect and to reach a a space where i can just rest you know i feel like of course you should rest and you should be active and have that nice balance but it's almost like we seek this point of perfection where we don't need to work anymore where we can just relax and enjoy life and almost sit back in a way at least i've experienced that and when i tell myself there's always room for growth is a very nice and um encouraging way for me to remind myself that there's always a way to improve there's always something to reach for or stay hungry like tony robbins says um and also being humble because i'm doing self study and to remain humble and know that you don't know everything and i don't think we're supposed to i love that our minds are limited to what we can understand because for me it proves that there is a life beyond the physical mind if the physical reality was all that reality was then it would make sense that we understood everything you know but the fact that we cannot comprehend everything with these physical minds just for me definitely prove that there is an experience beyond that there is more beyond i've just been dancing with my reflections and emotions and states of beings and perceptions yeah i just wanted to share that with you people again thank you so much for all the jammers all the new subscribers family members for all the old ones that have been here that are checking out the channel i do appreciate you so much and i have a lot coming as i said talking about seasons of yourself have you felt like i think i'll share this in a different video yeah let's do that again thank you for watching stay jamming still loving still living